What is up everyone, I'm Scratch, welcome to the channel, this is another Raid Channel Legends video, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at a blessing that completely changed the game and I really, really mean it. But we're gonna get to that in just a second. I am currently on the test server because I do have access to everything that changed with the new update and I don't need to make a mess on my account. But before we jump over into the main topic of today's video guys, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. First, I want to say a big thank you to Dragonair for sponsoring today's video. I got fortunate enough guys to get a sponsorship from a game that I really, really enjoy. Some of you guys might already be aware, but heck, I've been enjoying this game so much that I started a second channel where I'm covering Dragonair Silent Gods with daily guides, news, and everything else that you need to know about the game. So if you haven't checked out the channel just yet, guys, I'm gonna leave the link in the pinned comment, and you're gonna find everything that you need to know about Dragonair Silent Gods on that channel. Now, if you're not familiar with Dragonair, guys, it's an open-world high-fantasy RPG game. It's a hero collector game with some top-notch graphics. Honestly, the best graphics in the industry, in my opinion, and uh, probably you're going to be able to just judge it by yourself by having a look at the game, you know? It looks really, really cool. Today, guys, I want to show you a few features that I really, really love in Dragonair Silent Gods, and man, I feel like many other games out there will be able to learn so many things from here. Now, at the moment, we have the other world exploration event, guys, which is the real end game in Dragonair Silent Gods, we get to build multiple teams. We can build up to 15 different teams and we have to challenge different bosses daily and earn points and collect tons of rewards. You have a big endgame boss that will spawn on this map uh, once you're done with, uh, with the rest of the things. And let me just start with one thing that I really, really love in, uh, in this game. So let's actually head over to one boss. For example, it doesn't cost you anything to move gear, guys. No silver cost whatsoever, okay? nothing nada so dragon and silent gods has an amazing feature called presets okay so right here i'm able to build up to 30 different teams guys with the exact same gear if i want it doesn't matter what gear i'm putting on them but basically i'm gonna be able to just quickly jump from team to team and they're all equipped okay they all have gear and all i gotta do to change this team all i gotta do to change this team is equipment plan to make sure they're coming in with the exact same gear as before and click use that's it so my team is ready to rumble i don't need to do anything else i've already put the gear on them before so the presets are saving the gear and i can jump from team to team moving the gear from team to team without getting charged a penny no silver whatsoever isn't that crazy such an amazing feature then talking about a different feature that i really really enjoy and for this i'm actually gonna have to back out of this area and go somewhere else we're gonna go to a dungeon for example so I know how a lot of people love playing games, but at the same time, hey, we all have a real life. Some days we cannot log in. Some days our energy goes to waste. Well, Dragonair actually introduced recently an amazing feature where they have a reserve bank for your energy, aka stamina. So for example, let's just say your energy is capped, right? You, you reach the cap 150. Well, if you don't log in for one, two, three, four days, that goes to waste, okay? And Instead, Dragonair, they made a conversion reserve stamina where you're going to bank the stamina when you're offline. Okay, so it's, it's going to add up in here. And when you want to use it, you can just go in here, convert and bank. You just added all that stamina back, that, uh, back to your pot and you can use it. So this is absolutely amazing because you're not wasting it. And the last feature that I want to show you guys that I really think is amazing. When you engage with a dungeon with anything like that, especially in Raid, right? You're going to be well aware that what happens is that, well, if you lose the fight, you lose your stamina, right? So let's, let's lose a fight in Dragon and Silent God. See what happens. I had 22 stamina. And guess what? I get to keep my stamina. It's not getting wasted. How many times you decide to push to a higher stage in a dungeon and you're getting wrecked and you're losing your energy because your team wasn't able to win it, you know? So it's not punishing you for trying to beat more challenging content. Now, if you want to get involved, come join me, guys. Click on the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to download Dragonair Silent Gods. It's a cross-platform game available on PC. You can download it on the Steam Store, Epic Store. They have their own client. It's available on Mac. It's available on iOS, available on Android. And of course, 
you can download it by uh, scanning the QR code you see on the screen. And make sure you guys are checking out my Dragonair channel. Tons of awesome guides, news, and everything else that you need to know about the game. But let's dive straight into today's main topic. In my opinion, guys, this is one of the most game-changing blessings that we currently have in the game. Especially when we are talking about the Fire Knight being one of the hardest dungeons in the entire game. So Faultless Defense it changed guys right now it actually reflects damage back onto the attacker but you need to have a champion that will put increased defense now a lot of people are constantly asking me scratch is this something that it will actually work as a, as it is or is it just like a bug or what's the whole deal with this blessing is that intended to work like this on the fire knight a hundred percent guys so i feel like this is absolutely amazing when we are talking about the fire knight progression this will give you guys a massive, massive boost. And when we are talking about the Cursed City, the Fire Knight stages, this, of course, will help us a lot. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to know about Reflect Damage in general. It's not a new strategy where uh, the Reflect Damage will actually uh, knock down hits from the shield on the boss, as long as you don't have an actual shield on your team. Because then, if the boss doesn't actually hit you uh, on the on the HP, you know, uh, you're not reflecting anything back from uh, from the shield. And I've always said that that's a kind of like a, a bad thing. Unfortunately, that it doesn't work like this with uh, with the reflect damage. It would have been much much better because for the hard mode without a shield, you're just not going to survive. You know, like it's going to be extremely extremely hard to survive. Now, whenever an enemy attacks an ally under an increased defense buff placed by this champion, reflects a portion of the damage back to the attacker. I have it on Mitrala. Now, what I would suggest you to do, guys, is head right here to buffs and click on increase defense. You want to look for a uh, increased defense buff on all of your team. It doesn't matter if that uh, champion has one hit, two hits on the skill or whatever, because this uh, this blessing will make up for that uh, for that loss. So I'm going to give you guys a few different examples that can work. Mitrala, of course, being one of them. Hotatsu being another another decent option with this skill right here because it puts uh, it puts increased defense on all of your team martyr will be just crazy that's exactly what i have on martyr on my main account and it, it doesn't really help me on fire knight hard mode but it helps me in the cursed city then of course even on witten for example she is a, a pretty pretty good example lugan the stat fast steel skull another good example and he has a double hit on the a1 Liberga. Liberga can do an amazing job with that too because she puts increased defense with a with a A3, if I'm not mistaken, you know. Uh, you have a uh, Verself, another decent option. Which uh, other champion does increase defense AoE? You can always look at the smaller version too because it doesn't need to be the big version. And this is like the perfect example right here. We have a uh, Abyssal, okay? And having that rare blessing on him. Places an increased defense buff and increased attack on all allies on a fourth and cooldown. And using this champion for progression with that blessing is absolutely game changing, guys. But let me just quickly show you how exactly it works. So if we're going to head over to the Fire Knight, I actually have a team done with Mitrala. And I'm just quickly going to uh, show you how it's going to work. We're going to do stage 20 where we don't really need to worry so much about meter manipulation on the boss and uh, other things like that. But this is the team that we are running. Now, I do have that blessing only on uh, Mitrala. And, of course, you need to stop her A3 at the boss. If you're using the shield at the boss, that can create you issues. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a demonstration afterwards to see what will happen if you are using shield. I'm pretty convinced that it will not reflect it. Very similar with the reflect damage. Now, uh, I've been doing reflect damage strategies probably for like five years now i've done quite a few teams back in the day with um what's his name Falhound, the rare champion he was actually amazing because of the reflect damage on all of your team you know but the main problem is having shield on you know and that will uh, actually mess up your entire uh, your entire mojo there that's why it's it's not really a way to make it work on hard mode especially on stage 10 you know it will be extremely helpful but I don't think it will uh, it will be a way to make it happen, you know. So there we go. We're not knocking down the shield because we just don't have uh, enough hits, you know. We just don't have enough hits. And there we go. 10 hits, bang. The boss hit us. Five, uh, five stacks of the shield drop down. So now we're going to be uh, dropping his shield super, super easy. 
And this is such a game-changing thing, guys. Such a game-changing thing. Like, it, it helps everybody, especially with progression. And the Cursed City, you have so many stages with the Fire Knight where you just don't have enough nudes to go in and, and defeat a boss, right? You don't have enough Nelders, you don't have enough uh, Creed and the Blues. So you need some other options. And I feel like Plarium really made a very good choice with the buff... Uh, on this blessing with the, the rework of the entire blessing i feel like this is definitely top notch there are a couple of other blessings that are very very strong and uh, we're gonna have a look at them in uh, future videos but this one is uh is one of them that's really 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 good you know like look at that i don't have multi hits on all of these champions to uh, go and wreck the fire knight i have no cold hearts in here to manipulate the terminator like crazy either you know so this is actually a very, very solid thing. Now, I do want to show you the exact same thing again, but I'm going to manual from the second wave just to make sure I have the A3 available on Mitralla too. You know, I want to I wanna have that available at the, at the boss. So I can put the shield and uh, check if the reflect damage will go through the shield, but I'm pretty positive that it will not. I don't think it's coded differently than the actual... Uh, than the actual reflect damage. I would be surprised to, to see something like that, honestly. Okay. Let's make sure she's not using that skill. Okay, let's go A1. Or a bit more, and then, uh, then I'm going to stop before I get to her again. <laughs> you cannot trust her. You cannot trust her. Even though she's go going to, to use the, <laughs> the wrong skills. So right here, what I want to do this time around is to do this i'm gonna put shield and i'm gonna let it go on auto from uh, from here you know or actually i'm just gonna stop to make sure um, the preset that i had before is not uh okay it's fine so i'm curious to see right now we have okay so we broke the shield on one that reflected damage so it broke the shield on my uh on my war maiden so that reflected one hit back but you see when you have shield on the damage does not get reflected back onto the boss. And that can be a big, big problem, you know? Like right now, she's not going to use the A3 again. So the, we have increased defense on the team. And the boss will take another, another turn. But we dropped four, uh, four stacks right now because I have a Blood Shield accessory on, uh, on Armiger. And he just uh, had like a 300k hit, which gave him a big shield. But it's, it's so, so helpful. Like, look, I, got, I, got, I gained a, a very big shield again on, on Armigar there. And bang, just like that. This is an amazing, amazing rework on the, on the Blessing. Now, if we're quickly going to have a browse on the Cursed City, guys. For example, let's see what do we have here in terms of Fire Knight. How many Fire Knight teams we are uh, going to have this time around? So we have one right here, which has all these champions on, okay? This is going to be pretty hard. Luckily, we have a Bracus in here. And thankfully, we have champions that can uh, potentially buff, uh, buff an, increase, uh, an increased defense, hopefully. You know, like, I'm not 100% sure if we have any that do that either. You see, let's see. Filter and buffs. So we have the Shada, we have him, and we have the, the mythical champion. Easy. So even if he's just on, on him... A champion on itself you know is still something that will help you even with one hit two hits if you're putting it on multiple champions it's still going to be very very helpful what other fire knight stages we have in here the main thing that i'm curious uh is to see what uh, restrictions we have on the champions that we can use so right here as well we have lisandra she's going to be great we have Val uh, valkyrie again she's going to be great we don't have to stress about it much we have the right champions to get uh, the job done in here. We have a lot of multi-hitters, you know. But we have Tatura. This is an amazing blessing for Tatura too. I actually have it on my account for the Cursed City. I used it on the last rotation together with Martyr, you know, against, uh, against the Frost Spider and the Fire Knight in the Cursed City. I think it was a stage... This stage right here. Exactly this stage, yeah. That's what I used uh, against them, you know. And that blessing came in handy like so so good guys you have no idea till you actually get to try it in uh, in action but it seems like we have one more fire knight in here which can potentially create you issues if you don't have the right champion so 
uh, if you find one that will basically have a, a defense buff, the big version or the Mithrala, there we go. Problem sorted. Uh, I feel like most of the people will get Mithrala, even if you don't have her just yet. By the time you get to a stage like this, you're gonna have Mithrala 100%, you know, like, uh, you're slowly gonna pick her up from, uh, from Hydra, you know? But this is honestly one of the, the most game-changing blessings that, uh, was added to, to the game now, was reworked, basically. So I'm definitely a big, big fan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. How many of you guys are already using it? And I just wanted to confirm it to all of you that this is intended to work as it is. But that was all for today, guys. Big shout out to Dragonair again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't tried Dragonair Silent Ghost just yet, you guys are 100% missing out. You can download the game by clicking on the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channel for daily content on Dragonair Silent Gods. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.